<laughs> Hello people, me again, another beautiful day, yeah, hope your five senses work, health and strength is good, what, and to you Steam Deck fans, man, so you can hook your Steam Decks to a NAS uh, storage, huh, hmm? look at you, how much storage do y'all need, by the way, Steam Deck fans, anyway, Steam Deck tribe, Steam Deck nation, Steam Deck universe, Steam Deck world, Steam Deck Legion, the Steam Deck Mob, and the Steam Deck Squad, what's up with it? So you can hook your Steam Decks now to a, to a, to a NAS storage. Hmm. So you got a solid state drive, that's one. SD card, that's two. And now NAS. But the other question is this. Can you hook the Steam Deck to an IDE hard drive and save your games? Hmm. Let's see if someone can do that for can, can actually do it. But anyway, it says here, you can play Steam Deck games on NAS storage if you're looking to give your Steam Deck storage a boost to store even more games, then creating a library on network attached storage could do the trick. It says here, storing plenty of Steam Deck games on a device, on the device internal SSD is a breeze, but you can quickly run out of space even with a sizable micro SD card as a fallback. Thankfully, it seems the handheld gaming PC has tricks, has a trick up its sleeve, allowing you to boot it capacity via network attached storage. NAS. Yes. Says uh, this Steam Deck game storage workaround was highlighted by Reddit user Mystic Shadow, who shared an image of their portable PC accessing sizable video games such as Grand Theft Auto 5 via NAS. It says Mystic Shadow says that they had zero issues playing games on their Steam Decks that are installed on the NAS even after quick res resuming for a long sleep. In fact, they go so far as to say their setup is actually faster than my micro SD for most part. If you fancy giving this a go with your own Steam Deck, you can follow Mystic Shadow step-by-step -step guide. I will leave the guide in the, in the de description box. Just bear in mind that your experience may vary due to several performance factors, including bandwidth of local area network, the speed of your NAS drive, and more. And there you have it. So, if you guys want to hook up your... Uh, Hook up your Steam decks. Oh, if, if you want to hook up your Steam decks to a network attached storage, give it a go. You know, remember when Va remember when Valve did that little teardown video of you opening opening the Steam Deck and they show you the inside of the Steam Deck. Basically, they were giving it the technicians, uh, all the computer nerds out there, the green light to do whatever they want with their Steam decks. So. And now, and now, and now, and now, and now you're seeing the results. So, um, if you want to hook your Steam Decks up to a, a network attached storage, go for it. But my other question now is this: Can you hook the Steam Deck to a IDE, uh, IDE uh, hard drive? That little 20, 27 pin hard drive. If you can do that, <laughs> I would like to see it. Anyway, but but that's just my question. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this art article plus the guide in the description box. For you all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. More dark side. Go. Peace.